Hello, hello, hello. Welcome everyone. Good afternoon, evening, morning, depending where you are. Um, my name is Miles Debsky. We're hosting this today from um, up in Portland, Oregon. And um, yeah, we're broadcasting out like we do each day. Uh, today we're continuing this kind of full week of UI, UX um, in FileMaker Go with Nick Hunter. So today is day two of that. Uh, just for those who are new here, we are broadcasting out to three different platforms on Discord, on YouTube, and on Twitch. So you can watch from any of those platforms and chat on there. Um, Discord is probably our most active one. Just to shout out some people there. We got Brutterman, Canberra, David Angel, uh, Ed Burkle, Elzo, Foxy Jack, Gudidi, Jack Ripper, Jake Shield, Jericho, John Haggerty, Kyle Williams, Trixie, Mikey, M. Johnson, Net Lobster, P. Brain Pete, Scott... TK and of course Nick's over there as well so feel free at any time to send in questions I'll kind of monitor that and I can answer some and also pass them along to Nick um, and also on our website fmtraining.tv we as always have you know training courses we got bundles we got books feel free to check that out uh, just to help with your FileMaker development um, that's kind of all my housekeeping stuff so I'm just gonna hand it over to Nick and shows yours Hello, hello, everybody. This is Nick Hunter, and I'm here from California, where we are again locked down. So we have nothing else to do than to come here and broadcast. So maybe we can do a, a, a one-day marathon, you know, uh, about broadcasting. You know, <laughs> that could be nice. Anyway, so uh, welcome everybody. That would be it's a great day today. I'm very excited because I have decided to switch to the good thing you know so let today will be less talking more action um, so and all about the pharmacy go and I like the the presentation that we we've done about this uh, we didn't say uh, making the design for farm for touch we'd say making the design for go which is what it is nowadays and I'm going to explain that to you okay so um, so yesterday we 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 came and we established some rules, we established some guidelines, and we explained that you know uh, uh, you have to uh, embrace some standards and some uh, design guidelines and principles and stuff like that. And we explained also why standards were there. Uh, standards are there not to get you mad, child. Okay. <laughs> Uh, not to uh, you know to to say okay no 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 you need to do what we do no standards are there for uh, to to keep people are uh, to give people what they expect you know so uh, for uh, I have this analogy when you go to McDonald you are not expecting uh, to have a fork and a and a knife and a and a and a crystal glass okay. When you go McDonald, you don't have this. You have a you have a platter and you have a box and you eat with your hands. Okay. Uh, now, if you go to a traditional gastronomical French restaurant, uh, you have you are, you have at least three different forks, uh, at least three different knife. You have at least two different glass size glasses, uh, and at least three different size of plates. Okay. So this is what you expect to have. This is a standard. Now, if you go to a, a traditional gastronomical $250 meal French restaurant and people say, oh, by the way, you have a platter with a box and you eat with your hands, you say something wrong with this restaurant. So this is why we, there's standards, okay? So because you can um, you will get what you expect when you follow the standards. Okay, so that standards me put apart. Uh, I'm going to show you, start showing you something here that I think is relevant for you to know um, before you get started. So yesterday I was thinking, I say, okay, hey, you know what? Uh, I was talking about alignment columns. I, I was talking about columns, de columns in design and stuff like that. And I say, hey. Um, I'm not alone in the world to do that, right? No, I'm not. Uh, if I open, for example, let's open a very basic application that we have on every single Apple computer, which is the, uh, it's the App Store. 
and I say, oh, okay, here you are, three nice, beautiful columns, and if you get one here and you say, oh, again, we have three nice, beautiful columns, so let's show you. So when you first open this, you see this, which is, you see the column now. The column are there, you have one on the, one on the left, that kind of a navigation, kind of a column. And then you have one column here and one column here. When you click on, uh, uh, on an app, you get this and you say, hey, again we have three different col uh, columns, okay, from the top to the bottom. And, and I said, okay, that great, uh, that great, see, I uh, can make it smaller than you can see. So you say, okay, from the top to the bottom. But you will say, yeah, but Nick, uh, this is not a column here. And I will say, yes, it is. A column is not something that you need to separate with a, with a frontier. It's not like a frontier. A column is, it's a, uh, it's a metaphor. Uh, and most of the time, you separate column by empty spaces, okay? But here you have what we call a virtual column. Virtual column, what it is, it's, it is a column because you see here, every, every object here are aligned to the left, and everything here are aligned to the right. So physically, using this visual trickery, uh, of alignment on the left and alignment on the right, you are building a virtual column. You know, you see it, it is separated. Same thing here. You see here, there's a, there's a reason why the, the, the first star of the five star here starts there. You know, there's a reason why, because it is a column. It is a column. It doesn't look like a column because the background is unified but it's a unified background, but showing two different columns, right? So you see this concept of column, it's more than, it's not like an Excel spreadsheet. You know what I mean? It's not like, bam, you have the separation, bam, here. No, you can, you can play with it. You can be like this, you know? You can spill a little bit on the left, or spill on the right, or spill a little bit on the left. It's not a strict uh, dictatorial rule. But it, you need to convey a sense, a visual sense of separation between the two virtual columns. Here, again, another example here, everything is aligned on the left and everything here is aligned on the right. It spills a little bit there, but still it looks and feels like a column. You, you, you understand what I mean? It's everything is aligned here. So you have the, the sense of the column. So now, let me uh, show you this. So what are we going to do today? We are going to take this layout and we are going to make it for iPad. I did it yesterday. I did it for you, but I'm going to do it again. It took me 35 minutes to do that. 35 minutes to get an iPhone, an iPad layout in both orientation, la uh, portrait and landscape. Okay, so, um, Something you need to know is that the design that I'm using and you must and you should have on the FM launchpad, this design here is not just a design I made in uh, half an hour on the Friday night. No. This is the result of 15 years of discoveries, experimentation, uh, improvements, uh, uh, application of feedback from users, um, tweaking, improvement, et cetera, et cetera. It's not something I came like, oh yeah, let's do this. No, this is the, fru the, 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 the fruit of 15 years of work, okay? So it's not something I made, uh, it, there's a purpose here. The purpose of this design is that I want something that works on every single platform without to rework everything, okay? Something you need to know, and I, I, before we go there, you, you need to understand. You notice something is that the desktop, the, the touch world, the touch design, start to spill into the desktop world 
um, some times ago, you know, like 10 years ago, start to spill, you know, little by little. And today with our, and, and Microsoft did, Microsoft wanted to do that with Windows 7. Microsoft wanted to completely give up the, the desktop paradigm and concepts and embrace their touch kind of environment, touch kind of concept design paradigm, and etc. components and workflow with, with, with Windows 7. But they didn't have the gut to do it. They didn't have the gut to do it, so they did kind of a uh, hybrid monster of a half touch, half desktop, half Windows free, and half Metro. You know this uh, the, the this um, um, the new kind of a, uh, um, uh, interface they had back in the day and back in seven uh, uh, back with uh, Windows seven, and now we with Windows ten as well. The, the interface called Metro. So, and so they, 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 they didn't have the guts. So you had kind of a, a DOS execute commands along with touch uh, kind of a, um, a design, which was a, a, a monster, okay? So, and that was, a, it was a big failure. Apple didn't want to go there, but with Big Sur, Big Sur, the latest um, um, uh, Mac OS, it's definitely done. It's the touch and the touch world completely replaced the desktop world. Okay, and you, I don't have Big Sur installed in my computer, but still, I have a good example here with the Launchpad, the launch, the Apple Launchpad. You know, so this definitely is not. It's touch kind of environment. I'm using my mouse here. I'm using my trackpad so I can use. So trackpad has gesture now that we can have, you know, we have gesture with the trackpad and we can play. We have folders, right? Exactly like in iOS, but I am in my Mac. And I can do this if I want. See, I can drag and drop outside, inside, and do this. So uh, Big Sur is all about this. So the touch. And you can see the icon are big, text are big, everything big. Um, I, I take again my my App Store kind of for uh, uh, experiment uh, demonstration here. Look how the text, how like big this is on the side here. It's giant. Uh, this is giant. Everything giant, big, big. You know, this is a big text, big buttons, uh, everything big. Before. If if we were getting the desktop kind of for design principle and, and guidelines, we will never have something that big. And in FileMaker, we are even worse than this because in FileMaker, what we wanted to do in the past is to pack everything as much as possible, making you know everything in the, the font size 10, 10 font size, everything pack, pack, pack everything because we want to show everything in one layout okay so and and that was the that was what we where we were doing before but now more and more than ever the design guidelines for touch it's inside the desktop and and I understood that for years and that's why I started working with this this kind of div, uh, design here this design, if you embrace this design, you you will never be, it's not like, oh, this design is good for an asset management, for example. No, I have many examples here I can show you. Uh, when you embrace this design, you can have an estimate kind of for, uh, estimate kind of for in project, for example, right? So you double click this, um, you double click here, and you have a column system, and that's an estimate system. Okay. Okay. So that's an estimate. So you have estimates, and then you can have inspections. You see, you have column, one column, two column, three column, four column. So you have a column kind of organization, and you can have an inspection list, or in in, pro in projects, for example, you can have here. You have project. You have one. Uh, you have one uh, column, two columns, three columns. So this column thing is not just in here. You you have the deals, one column, two columns, three columns, right? So it's not just for an asset, it's for everything. You can 
apply and you can play with that design of multiple columns and you will see you will be happy for everything you're going to do now this column system can look like different this here this uh, the, we have this uh, you know the right downtown ui design sample uh, that you can download for free also use a concept of column it looks different but it's still with column and this file that you're going to get for free on uh, on Friday also is using a concept of columns. So the, you need to embrace now more than ever this concept of columning, even though you're not doing anything for iPad and iPhone. You know, it, it will work perfectly well for all kind of application, okay? So I am going to assume, okay, and by the way, uh, you have also, uh, I'm seeing FM starting point here. If you look FM starting point, I think I have it here somewhere. Uh, if you look to FM starting point, uh, FM starting point also is using a column system, one, two, and three, column four, right? So you have columns all over the place, okay? So now that we discuss about this, uh, and now you want, that you understood that the, the the design the the touch design now spilled and pretty much replace the design we had on the desktop you need to I need to explain you something about what we are talking about the design we're not talking about the workflow you know we are not talking about the, the organization of component we are going to uh, to we, we talk about the font size we talk about the 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 the, tie, the size of buttons, the size of tabs, the 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 spacing between lines between the padding, the uh, all this uh, the space between uh, diff different rows, etc. This is what we talk about the touch design. For example, our now okay. So now that you want to have a design that works well for desktop and touch, okay. You need to come what we call compromise. Okay, everything is compromised. Let's. I, I'm taking an example. Let's say you have a phone. Okay, and let's say I'm not compro. I want the most powerful. I want the most powerful uh, um, chip inside my phone, and I want 100% uh, multitask in my phone. But that made that means I have one hour of battery life. This is what we call an unacceptable compromise. Now, for example, another another compromission. Let's say I want the same phone. I want two weeks of battery life, but I have the same power of of a, a 1990, a 1980 Texas Instrument calculator. Uh, it's not acceptable. It's a non-acceptable compromise. Now say, okay, you have a very strong, very powerful chip, but you have one day of battery life. Eh, that's acceptable. It's an acceptable compromise. Why? Because I have to recharge myself every night or so. So one day of battery life, that's okay. You know, because when I recharge myself, I can recharge my phone. So you have to come with the same type of compromise here on the, on, on the desktop, when on, on the on the layout. When you need when you want a dex a, a layout that works fine on desktop and fine on 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 the what's the name on iPad, you need to come with some compromise. Example, the 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 best size uh, the best size of fonts for iPhone and iPad is fourteen is fourteen. Okay, 14 is the best size, and the best size for the the font on the on the desktop was 12. It's 12. 12 is the best size for desktop, and 14 is the best size for uh, iPad and iPhone. Guess what? This is 13. Is in the middle. The best is 12. Okay, and the best is 14. Okay. So I put 13 and everybody should be happy, okay? This is what we call an acceptable compromise, right? So, so it's all about 
the visual comfort of the user, okay? It's all about this. So now, less talk and more action. What I want to do, I want, I want to um, make this layout, you know, for uh, iPod, iPhone, for an iPad. Okay, iPhone, we do that on Thursday. But I want to make that for iPad, but I want 100% of the feature. I don't want to lose anything. I don't want to you to lose this. I don't want to use the search, the sort. I don't want to use my uh, my uh, uh, the the that like type kind of a uh, selector here. I don't want to lose anything. Okay, so first we need to define uh, what we want to do here. Okay, so uh, let me go to. Um, I need to reopen this um, stencils. So I want to, let me, okay, using stencils in Pharmac, okay. So what you need to do is to visit this uh, website. So we can, um, um, what's the name, um, Miles, you can share this website to everybody. Uh, I'm going to send it to, to your Slack and you can share to um, all the group, okay. Uh, so I can share on uh, on Discord, so you can share on YouTube and Twitch. So this website here is very interesting because uh, it is going to give you the size of all our uh, of all the the devices, okay, with the menu bars and the toolbars, right? So with with the with the bars on top and the bottom, or without, okay. Station portrait and landscape. Now, my iPad is an iPad Air 2. This is what I have, okay? So this is my iPad, and I suggest that you use this size as the basic, you know, as for, as a, for the foundation of for iPad. The minimum for iPad should be this, right? So we will say, okay, Nick, that's great, but what about the bigger iPad? Well... Uh, Farmaker solved that since 1980 or 1991. By the way, uh, we call that uh, you know when you when you want to 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 change the the size of the window, you stretch the the window and automatically it will see uh, it will reflow. Okay, it reflows. It, uh, let's take let's get something where we, we can see. But you know what you know what I mean. What it reflows. See here. It reflows, so you you use this with the uh, uh, what's the name? Oh, great! Each time we do this, okay, okay. So you can uh, stretch the window using the anchor pro uh, properties. Okay, so when you use the anchor properties, uh, it will adapt to a, a bigger a bigger screen, right? That, that the goal of this. So you don't need to adapt to create a layout for every single uh, iPad size. You you get a minimum exactly like we do for uh, for the for the you know for the for the, the the screen on desktop. You don't have a layout for every size of desktop, right? You do a minimum, an acceptable minimum. Okay, and then after people will stretch the window, and uh, if they have a, a 45 inch screen, okay, you can stretch it. Or if you have a 15 inch screen or 13 inch screen, you can resize the window on the size of your screen. Okay, that will be the same. So you need to take the minimum, the, the minimum size of for iPad. For, for, for iPad, I'll take the iPad Air, okay? And for iPhone, I'll take the iPhone 6 to be the minimum size, okay? So, six, seven, uh, I mean the six, uh, seven, eight, okay? Um, you can have a variant for the plus, uh, I can show you that too, but that will be later. Let's see the iPad Air. So I want to build, first I'm taking, I'm building the portrait, you know? Why? Is because on the computer, Every single computer in the world, the 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 layout, the screen we have is a portrait screen, 
okay it's not the, it's, it's a landscape sorry it's a landscape screen landscape screen okay that means the 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 width is uh is uh, is is larger than the how the, the the height okay so i'm starting with the landscape and i'm going to build a portrait letter okay because you have both orientation so i'm going to do the landscape first and i don't want to show the ui uh i don't want to show the ui okay i'm not showing the bars on top no i'm not showing this so landscape is 740 for 748 by 1024 okay so i'm going here to the stencil menu and i already have it you know so the eight is the eight is uh oh the width is and so the width is a 10 for 24 and 748 okay so it's 748 and 10 24 okay so this is my see the stencil here this is now the orange stuff here. This is my stencil. This is the real estate for my iPad. Okay. This is what we call the the real estate. Okay. So what what I'm going to do? I'm going to duplicate this layout here. Okay. And I'm going to to call it uh, L five hundred. Uh, uh, what's it name? T. Okay. T for tablets, and I'm saying this is landscape. Okay, this is a landscape version of my asset. Okay, so I'm going there. I am in the L fifteen fifty five hundred T. And what do I want to do right now? I want to compress the UI. Obviously, my layout, my layout cannot go more than this okay here so that's my layout it cannot go more than this okay my layout well actually is 124 that we say this is my layout see so now uh, why I cannot go there okay so now see the problem uh, I have a problem here I have a real estate problem I don't have enough space to show everything and obviously I cannot put everything that was there in this small area here so I'm going to compress the UI I'm going to take this guy here and you can see here I've I already predicted that I'm going to do what I'm going to do and all those objects here are confined inside a slide control so I already explained that in one course already okay and so um, there was a the name there so I, I I don't I don't explain but I, I why I did that is because I knew one day in my design my origin design I knew one day that I will have to do what I call a compression what we call in design compression what the compression I'm going to remove this from here Okay, I'm going to put that in the, on the side for the moment. And I'm going to move these two objects, I'm going to move them here. So already feel much, much more comfortable. Okay, still a little bit too big, but it's okay. You know, I can resize this here, okay, uh, a little bit. I resize this. And I'm going to resize everything inside this layer this uh, slides also so what i go here this is the most difficult slide to resize which is but you will see if you build the thing the right way everything is easy so okay i'm going to move this you know this this uh, this uh, uh, object here i'm going to move it inside okay and obviously what i need to do is to resize this guy here okay so what these guys see it's a group there's a lot of people here you know and you will see there's a lot of people i have all those fields grouped there you know here here and this so i have all of this group there okay so what i'm doing here i want to um i don't know why i cannot um uh move why 
it's annoying okay so uh, I want now I want to resize all those objects and you can see all of those objects inside all of those objects here they are all size the same they all have the same size they overlap perfectly so I'm selecting all of those people okay and I resize them all okay that's it now I take this and I resize them here okay and here I have two lines inside this I have one line here that goes there and I have another line here that is smaller a little bit like this okay uh, and this one we can put here perfect so now I have kind of for acceptable let me put this a little bit bigger okay so now I have an acceptable kind of a thing and I'm going to resize this so I've resized my portal I put that in the middle this need to be in, in exact middle so I want this object here to be in the middle of this object so what I'm doing um, you know I just do this and this and I'd say okay uh, I want that to be in the middle and I can even resize it it's okay you know it's a, it's a big not a big deal same for this so I have this object here I can hide this object and then I have this object also needs to be in the middle of this portal here so I'm I'm using the same technique here central center and now I have this center so now I have this portal completely rebuilt the way I wanted okay why is yeah so uh, oh yeah I moved this I don't know why oh when I did oh yeah I may, I may have done a mistake here it's okay uh, so now I want to resize this guy here which is okay it's kind of simple too it's one port it's one container field so I can just do this you know I resize this and I'm going to resize this a little bit put position this here and I'm positioned this here see very simple and this and, and this will be in the middle of this guys or uh, now I'm re resizing this so it's kind of it's kind of it, it looks kind of uh, crazy but it's not that crazy by the way uh, so I want to resize this guy here uh, so I want to put this guy here uh, and I want to put this guy here okay I move this so I have a kind of a, a guy here and I move this here so pretty much I have done I have resized all my slides so I can just keep this here so now as you can see I have my slide back resized for uh, an iPad okay so and so yeah so Moki says for example the for iPad I do use 24 points eight for fields okay so that was Moki said okay and guess what guess what let's take uh, let's take a, a field 25 25 25 and they all or sometimes 26 but that's a bug uh, uh, I mean 20 it's, you see normally it's 25 so I use 25 for uh, on desktop also 25 uh, and the three and four as a padding this is a perfect sizing for desktop iPad iPhone so Moki you're right 25 24 the big deal so so now here I have this the I resize the portal in in no time okay you say okay Nick that great that fantastic but what about the thing you removed Okay, yeah, you mean those guys? Okay, let's take care of those guys. So what those guys is, this is what we call general information. So um, here, for example, I have a popover displaying a bigger version of two, two pictures. Is that the same? Those pictures are small here as a preview, but if you want to see it big, you click here and you have a portal. Okay, so let's take care of that letter. I want to take care of that or that people okay what I'm doing here I'm adding a new tab here okay I'm adding a new tab okay but this tab here I want this tab to be the tab in one 
I want this to be the first tab, okay? What this tab is, this tab is uh, an info, so I have a nice, somewhere here, there's a nice info icon here, okay? It's an info, and as info, I want the asset name, <laughs> okay? Okay, so let's let's put the name here, item. Okay, item. So the title of this tab will be the name of the object. Okay, so this is uh, Elisa Samsung Galaxy Plus Motorola, uh, you know, Motorola Moto Z2, etc. So this will be the name of the uh, current object asset that I'm in okay so uh, that's great and I want this to be the, the the first button so you can see here this button here is a button number three and I want this one to become the button number one so everything I'm, I'm bumping up everybody so everybody has got got bumped up okay so button two become the, the bottom uh, uh, button one become the button two and now I can name that button one okay so now this button here is named correctly now I need to add the slide control that goes with this I have four buttons now I need four slide control so first of all I show the dots the navigation dots okay and I create a new tab and I want this tab here see the navigation dot on the bottom I want this tab to be in the first row you know so it's, I want this tab to be the first. So I drag the button. This is how you change the order of a tab control. So now I have one, two, three, and four, okay? But this one now needs to be renamed as well. So you see here I have those slides. I have slide three, two, one, and the new one I created. So I'm going to bump up everybody as well, okay? Uh, and bump up everybody. So now, so now it's okay. I have slide one, slide two, three, and four. Now I need to take care of uh, where I'm going. See, when you have a navigation system that is easy to understand, that is that it, it's this is easy because I just say okay. Now this one goes to the slide number four. This one now goes to the slide number three, you know, and, and uh, et cetera, so you got it, you know, that number three, this one goes to the slide number one. I copy this, see, I'm going to copy this, I slide number two, but now this one, it's a script, because this is a new button that I created. It's a script, I, I go to the script number two, and I want to go to the slide one. So now I'm ready to go. Ready to go. Ready to go. Slide one, two, three, and four. And inside the slide one, here what we we are going to do. I'm going to select all of those guys here. Right, all of those guys with the with uh, with the row. Oh, okay, okay. All of those guys. Okay. And I'm going to bump those guys here. Okay. Inside this nice, good looking kind of her, um, uh, what's the name? Asset. Okay. So, but I, I don't need that. And I can put that up here, you know. Okay. Okay. So now, you see, you see how it works. So now I have all my information. Let's put that a little bit more here. Okay, this look great. Okay, so now I have my information back. Okay, they're back, right? I have all back. So now I have real estate here, and I say, okay, good, good for me, good for me, because instead of having those two inside a popover, I just take this portal and I just take this portal out of the pop or the popover okay and I put it here 
But you see, it's kind of a little bit big, okay? It's a little bit too big. So I'm going to resize those guys, you know? So I'm going to do this, okay? I'm going to do this. And I'm going to do uh, kind of a, a resize, okay? So I can do this. Um, I'm going, I can resize this here and resize this here, right? So I can do this, and I can make sure this is here, okay? So, and I make sure this is going to get bigger like this, okay? So now, but um, I have my pictures, you know? If I take a, a phone, for example, an iPhone, if I take an iPhone, see, I have my two pictures, looks great, looks good, and uh, in, and I can even though uh, do this, I put that on the top here and uh, and go down to the bottom. Okay, a little bit more. Okay, it's okay. It's all right. So um, so now you see I have my iPad layout done. That what you think? Okay, it's not really done. Okay, why is because um, um, there we don't have this paradigm. We don't have this paradigm in an iPhone, in an iPad, you know, or iPhone. We don't have those tabs looking like this. Okay, we have those tabs looking like this. So let me show you. Um, so first of all, the the icon can be the same size. But definitely the, the the text is smaller, and is not a line like this. Is a line like this, okay? And instead of being that tall, it's a little bit less tall, and it's um, what's the name? Uh, there's no dividers, you know. Uh, there's no dividers, so we can get rid of the dividers, and the highlights need to be more flashing. So when I go to the segment here, I said active. Um, I don't have, I have the same, I don't have the background change when it's active and I want that to be much more flashing than this. So you said icon active, I want to be blue like this. So now I have something like is more like, uh, you know, uh, it's uh, control over, pressed, focus, okay. So now this, it looks like more like a, an iPad stuff, but this is not on the top of the screen, but on the bottom of the screen. So that means I need to bump this up here and I need to put that down, okay? So, and now I put this I make that bigger so I can make this a little bit bigger too. Let's say like this. And I need a top here. Okay, so this is something looking good. Make sure that uh, everything aligned. So this looking great now, okay? So this is what an iPad layout looks like. So, see? so. It's uh, it's much better. So it's here, for example, I need to make sure, maybe this is not a good idea. Maybe we can say just um, uh, general info um, because the, the names are too big and they are not great. So I don't want to, to show that. Okay, general info, properties, pictures, and history. So now this looks like an iPad. So demonstration, right? So, so far, what did I do? to make to get an iPad uh, layout. I did absolutely nothing. I just reflow object that was already there. So now I want you to see this uh, on by your own, okay? So here, what I have, okay? Uh, next, admin. And so let me show you my, um, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, 
sorry. Okay. So this is the iPad layout. Okay. So, oh, <laughs> actually, I need to. So this looks. So if you see an iPad layout like this. It doesn't look like, oh my gosh, this is this is not iPad at all. No, no, no. This is completely, uh, this is completely uh, iPad compliant, and everything works. You know, the properties are there. Uh, they look. You see, the size is big enough. Oops, the size of the of the font. Everything looks great on the iPad. It looks better on the true iPad, by the way. Um, uh, you have the picture, you have the history, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So everything works perfectly here. So let's uh, play a little bit with this. Let's say I want to check that in. So I check in and I say, okay. Oh, by the way, this needs repairs. Okay, so done, right? So now uh, I did something. Now let's check out this. So you tap here, you say check out, okay, and you assign to, for example, uh, Dumont and let's say is in Santa Clara, right? And you're done. So you see, everything works. The, you know, the, the car style window works perfectly well. Everything okay, everything smooth and look perfectly well, okay? So anyway, so everything works, okay? Uh, I can change the depreciation. And of course, the advantage on the, uh, something you need to know on the, on the on the iPhone and an iPad is the about the car star window. Okay, uh, the car star window is um, so Kyle doesn't like the 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 this. So let me change this. Uh, I think if I do this first, hold on. Problem solved. Okay, so um, so overdue when you tap. Okay, see, problem solved. See, it was very difficult to fix uh, because the customer I I built I built this for the customer and the customer asked me he wants to see the overdue when select even even selected. So that's why I did that way. But it's okay. Problem is solved. So um, so we don't have the overdue uh, red color or see. Uh, uh, when it's overdue, overdue. Oh, oh, by the way, I have a filter here. So now, when you select it, oh yeah, because I didn't uh, save on this one. Okay, never mind. So, uh, so what you need to know about the the caster window, okay? It's that when you open a window, right? When you open a window, and you said and you want to activate the close here on a desktop on the desktop it will show you in the desktop it will show you a cross that you can close a window okay so on desktop it will show you this see but when you click outside it doesn't dismiss the window on an iPhone and an iPad when you do the same thing here okay when you do the same thing, you don't have the cross here, but when you tap outside, it will dismiss the window. So you need to know about this because if you if you have a big uh, caster window that takes pretty much all the real estate, and you don't have free spaces between in, uh, on the edges, you won't be able to dismiss the window, which is a problem. Okay. So, um, but you can you can do like I do here. You can have a uh, you know here you can have a cancel button or, or you know cancel button or a close button whatever you know that that doesn't 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 matter. Uh, so um, now, uh, do we have any question, Mars, about the thing here? There was one about which I think you kind of explained, but why your. Um... Your button bar, you move to the bottom, and then the other one was about the size of some labels. Um, Look, no. I'll tell you something. You know, I'm. Uh, there's rules. We have rules and stuff like that. You know, uh, the labels need to be big, small. Okay, depending on 
the, about the about the the label the labeling you know the labeling so some here are small and some here are bigger okay uh, they could have been all uh, like this or all like this this file here the, the FM launchpad has been built to be a demonstration of different style okay so that's why uh, I have different style okay then you pick up the one you like uh, I like this one here because most of the time the labeling um, depending on what what is for but when you see a first name last name like this you know that it's a first you know that that a date you know you don't need to have a, a big label telling you oh by the way this is a date you you know that you, you know that is a date you know and there's other ways also to emphasize date but you know you know what I mean so uh, just you have kind of for kind of for a visual reminder about what it is uh, it's a cell phone dog okay it's, that's not, that's a type cell phone okay I understand you know it's a cell phone I see that uh, so you have a you have a different ways to do to do things right so um, that, that's why there's different sizes but um, pretty much the text on on an iPhone and an iPad cannot be less than 13 or 14 or uh, unless you deliberately want it so so the first question you had why am I putting everything on the bottom it, because this is um, uh, is because of the uh, is because of the way we are holding our iPad in the hands. So, if I open the App Store, for example, you will see that the navigation is on the it's on the bottom. Okay, navigation is on the bottom. Okay, uh, if I open music, for example, uh, the navigation is on the bottom. Okay, so uh, I don't know if uh, uh, Michelle is. Uh, Gravel is there. Michel Gravel is, is, is. I don't know if he's there, but if he's there, he will be laughing now uh, for what I'm showing on the on the screen. Um, I'm not sure he's there, but anyway, he will laugh when he will when he will watch the the thing. So uh, so you see the the navigation is on the bottom. So um, it's um, what's the name? The, the we put, we always put the navigation on the bottom. Of the screen, when on an iPad, this is because the way we hold the iPad. Uh, you know, I, I can I could make a session out based on this, uh, why things are positioned, but it doesn't matter uh, the why too much. Uh, of you know, just follow follow the follow the rules and you know, get the thing done. So um, I have uh, no, so tomorrow we are going to. To show, because I'm going to uh, I'm going to show you. Hold on, I need, I need to switch to something else. Tomorrow I'm going to show you. Uh, blah blah blah. I'm opening this one. Opening this one. This one. Okay. So uh, tomorrow I'm going to show you this. Portrait. Landscape, portrait, landscape. Okay, so how I'm doing this, and how I'm doing this, and I navigate. See, I go down. Oh, show all. Let's say I want to, I want to switch to switch to a Motorola Droid. See. So I have the navigation here and I have the landscape and portrait. Okay, so we are going to check on this tomorrow. And um, so, and I don't have to redesign anything. I have all the building blocks I need here and I might have to create two scripts. So far, so far I went to this design here without touching any script, any button, any any schema, anything. Just reflow things. Why? It's because my design on the desktop originally was kind of 
uh, was more than enough to let me do this. Um, applying the design guideline and principle for touch, which is now with Big Sur, uh, and even on Windows, Windows 10, etc., it's more and more the design everywhere. You know, iPad, iPhone, tablets, uh, the the web, um, they all. You know, everything is now for the for the for for both or everywhere. You know, it's not for touch and for um, uh, for desktop. Actually, there's er uh, there's many reasons why, and I can come uh, why because I have the support. Why? Uh, there's a conversation on on the on this call here. Do you have any question, by the way, Miles? Before I go, I continue. No, just a lot of people loving your demo today and looking forward to it tomorrow. Okay, so so the reason why um, we can do that now is because the screen on the iPhone got much bigger, and the screen on the iPhone, an iPad got bigger as well. I mean, you know, the uh, my screen, the iPad 2 is kind of an old, you know, five years old kind of a, um, you know, um, device. Uh, we, you know, we have more about those devices now, right? So, um, so that not I'm not talking about the 13 inch iPad Pro, but uh, you know, the 11 inch, uh, the 10 inch. So 10 inch is pretty much what we have, 10 and a half. Um, so. The the screen on the on the touch get much better than before. They got retina, and now we have the super retina and stuff like that. So, uh, and 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 the screen on the on on the desktop as well. They followed the quality. So now pretty much we have the same quality on the phone and the desktop. Uh, so pixel by pixel, actually we don't have a pixel. Um, point by point, let's say, uh, we have pretty much the same resolution on both world especially on the apple world so um it's it makes sense now to have kind of the same design the same spacing the same font size the same padding uh the same organization of components with like labeling and texting and stuff like that to be to be the same makes sense now the the the, the reflow of when thing happen when thing appears and when thing happen, that still differs. But most of, as I said, you know, you see what I've done here. I just compressed. You see, I've, I compressed uh, one uh, column that was outside. You know, you know, pretty much. I made three. I made three columns between two columns, right? Adding one kind of a compressing the the. I, I, on top of those three, I just added a new drawer to put that. And instead of having those two inside a popover, because I was missing real estate on the, on the desktop for that, I just exposed them there now. You know, so now you have kind of a nice looking kind of a, a homepage, and it looks better on the iPad than it looks on the desktop, in my opinion, um, because you have more, you know, more room, right? So. So tomorrow we are going to check about what we do uh, to get this orientation kind of stuff. So what do, what do we need? What do you know the function we needs, and our, and the 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 trigger. That's the trigger. That's okay. We are going to to do that. So Andrew said a nice thing. The portrait landscape is not anymore. What do you mean? What do you mean by not anymore? Yeah, it's there. No, uh, so um, um, what's the name? Uh, a farmaker stripped away a function that was locking down the the orientation of an iPad that was preventing the iPad to rotate. So uh, that got removed by Apple request uh, before a farmaker had the possibility to uh, just prevent that to happen. You know, if you were uh, pretty much uh, to to activate this command, uh, you know, like if you orient, you know, if you move the orientation like I'm doing, it's not doing anything. 
because I said this. But Apple requ uh, required Pharmaca to remove that uh, function, so that's why the, this command doesn't exist anymore. Uh, and so tomorrow we are going to check. I, I think you guys are going to be surprised how easy it, it is to build this, okay? Uh, especially this here, uh, this this guy here. And no, it's not a popover. Okay. So, um, so mice. Cool. Oh, hey. question, question, question. Well, on iPad, do you know how to get rid of the wipe swipe up bar at the bottom? I think yeah, you cannot get rid of anything that is native of iOS. Yeah, you can't. Um, so. Uh, there's no intervention. This is a th actually that is a it's a um, prohibition by Apple. That means it's not. If you go to the if you have a regular if you, if you are coding in Xcode and you go to their App Store approval kind of process and you 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 mess up with any native command from Apple, you get rejected immediately. So yeah, you can. Okay, so this is different. Um, uh, okay, so you said about um, the Netflix does and no, it's when you play a video on full screen mode that switch off automatically. But this is Apple decision. When you switch, when you watch a video on full screen, that means Apple iOS is taking care of this, not Netflix or whatever player. Uh, so, uh, there. So, every when you when you when when a command has been deactivated, that means Apple decided to do it. There's no way you can do that. Uh, no way you can interfere unless you jailbreak your your your, your device. You know, but otherwise you can't. But uh, um, uh, so it depends how uh, the you know. Yeah, Clar no, Claris is not Apple, Moki. No, Claris is not Apple. And Apple is not Claris. It's a subsidiary of Apple. It's not Apple. It's not Apple Farm Maker. Yeah. So tomorrow we, are, tomorrow we are going to continue working on this. And we are going to... Uh, Thursday and Friday, we're going to do the iPhone stuff, which is more fun. Perfect. Thanks so much, everyone. Thank you, Nick, and we'll be back tomorrow. Okay. Bye. Down 10, 9.25 to go here in the fourth. Short motion by Amendola from the left. Brady takes the shot, goes down. Stands in, throws it left for Amendola, reaches up and snacks a high throw and lands inside the 10. Ooh. Rolling to the 9. Oh. Slightly behind him, again he makes the grab.